right, we're just getting the boat all loaded up here, uh, put together, got the decoys moved around uh, up front so there's room for us to get into uh, the boat. And let me put it in at the landing here and get ready to head out. Beautiful uh, October morning here. See if we can get out and uh, get some ducks moving through this morning. Hey there. Well, we are heading out into leaving the landing, heading out into a small lake here, uh, October. Let's see what we can do uh, after ducks and maybe some geese here on water. Uh, we'll see if we can run about a half mile here to our spot. You know, it's uh, October and the migrating starting when you hear that. That's a flock of speckle bellies flying over in the dark here. Can't see them, but can hear them. Good sized group. Hey there. Uh, it's a little bit before shooting time. We are uh, just kind of enjoying the, my favorite time of the morning here. Having a little coffee, uh, just starting to see the glow in the east. Uh, we got the decoys out. I want you to go ahead and pan, and we can probably see some of the closer decoys. Um, I don't see too many of them yet, a little dark. Uh, yeah. I got the camera showing some, but uh, we've got, uh, we'll show the spread a little bit later, but we've got a little bit of everything out here. Um, Mid October, um, I call a calendar migrating period uh, where ducks that I call calendar migrators uh, want to get moving just because it's uh, not that cold uh, just because it's shorter uh, light period. Uh, the daylight uh, period is getting shorter, nights are coming sooner and they get the itch and as soon as you get a west uh, or a northwest wind of any kind, uh, we're in central Minnesota here, ducks come in out of the Dakotas uh, and southern Canada and uh, they trickle through any time you get a, a west or a northwest blowing or the day after that or the couple days after that you'll have new birds around so we've got uh, a line of canvas backs leading into some bluebills we've got pintails widgeon uh, gadwalls mallards and uh, then some geese out um, we could see all those species today redheads um, probably some green wing teal um, a little bit of everything trickles through spoonbills uh, or shovelers so uh, just enjoying the Pre, uh, pre shooting time here, um, or about a half hour to shooting time, so we're starting to get a little bit of a glow in the eastern horizon. And coyotes are howling, uh, uh, some pheasants should start clucking here pretty soon, and uh, just sit back and enjoy that. And uh, get some, hopefully, get some good footage of some uh, new ducks around here a little bit later this morning. All right, we got a little bit of a glow to the east here, we're getting close to shooting time. Geese, gadwalls, widgeon, mallards over here, a couple lucky ducks, some pintails, some bluebills, and a line of cans over here. Those don't show up as well, but we get to see these in the glow here. So there's Dad enjoying some coffee. Favorite time of the morning here, and it's almost go time. Nicely done, boys. Right. Three in, three down. Oh. Did you get two with one shot, or did we both get one? I think you got one, I got two with one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
said oh, they're cupped up. They're by, but. Nice job, Troy. Oh, this one's coming around. Oh, he's hard shot. Is it? Yep. He just went flat down right there. I got my triple. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. Well, we got a number of birds laying on the water. We're gonna have to push out and go get them. This is ridiculous. Okay, we're on our way out. Uh, we have a number of birds on the water. We've got to get out and pick them up. The, the uh, shooting has been great this morning. We've had all the birds work real well, and uh, sounds like one of our partners is calling geese. Yeah, we've had some pretty good shooting so far. We've got birds on the water. We're gonna get out and pick them up now. All right, we're still out here picking up our ducks that we dropped. Um, well, we've got birds we're trying to retrieve. Um, getting a little bit of a wind picking up now compared to what it was earlier this morning. And uh, so we got to kind of watch it when we come up and get these birds so they were getting next to them and uh, okay well we're picking up another bird here we've got uh, I think three or four now are down yet that we're going to get Okay, that's another one we've picked up. That's another green wing too. Coming right under the boat. Drake, I think. Yeah. That's nice pretty. beauty. That's a nice oh. bird. Yeah, we're out picking up our birds and we got more of them trying to decoy. And uh, so it's been a good morning so far. It's uh, <laughs> relatively early, but. Oh, yeah, nice bird. Nice bird. So far, uh, everything's gone good. We've had to, we haven't had to take any long shots. Everything's been working, coming right into the decoys. So um, it's been a good morning so far. Headed out to pick up another one. Uh, this is also a gadwall. Oh no, it's a green lake. I'm saying it's a different flock. That's the spread we got right now that are bringing our ducks in. And a couple of lucky ducks out there, and we got a line of uh, canvas bags. Mallards out there. Pintails. So, so far we've been lucky. The birds that we've got coming in, we haven't had to take any long shots. They've all been working the decoys real well. And uh, so it's been a good morning. Okay, we uh, retrieved all the birds we got down. We're going to head back into our blind. Hopefully we keep working more birds like this. Well, there's one of the guys that pushed us in and out. Decoy spread's been good. So hopefully we get some more shooting like this. Birds working us. Guys are shooting at him. We got one down. Oh, he's not throwing that ball. I think he's dead. He's done. Quite a number of birds. We only wound up taking one, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, is he going to start flying? 12 o'clock high. Okay. Oh. More mallards. Okay, we got birds down again. We had a lot of birds working us. 
And uh, so it's time to go retrieve the birds. Corey, we'll get it. Yeah. You see them there, Wyatt? The green head? Yeah, I got them. That's, that's frustrating. He's a beaut. He's a beaut. Hold them up. Yeah, beautiful Drake Mallard. Yeah. Well, we got three, four more to pick up, and then we'll be back in the blind again. Okay, we retrieved the birds that we had down, headed back to the blind, and uh, if they keep working like they have been so far, we should have a few more birds down in the short order. Okay, more birds down. We're out picking them up. Another bunch of birds that work the decoys real good. Bluebells of the year. Yeah. And mine? Oh, it's one of the nicest ones. Huh? Last one. Okay, then we'll get that gabble decoy. We'll yeah. We had one of our decoys run away. Gotta go pick them up. Okay, all birds picked up. Headed back to the blind. It, it didn't go down. I shot at it as it was flying away and I, it was hit, but it didn't go down. Yeah, yeah, we did. We got all four. All four drinks. Right out front. Sometimes they don't come right in. <laughs> those are gaddles for you. Yeah, those are gaddies. They worked well for a while. Yeah, we had them. Had them, had lost them. them, brought them back. Lost them again. Yeah, lost them again. That's yeah. all right, though. That's fun. That's part of hunting, yeah. Oh. Hey. Uh, just got a little bit of low in the action here, so uh, i got to talk about uh, a little bit what we're doing. Um, one thing we're going to talk about here is the importance of a good blind. Um, we've got okay cover. You can kind of see it on the sides and behind us here, but it's got thin spots. But we've got, uh, we're in a 16 foot boat with a 40 horse outboard, so a good sized boat. Uh, but we've got it well hidden. We've got an Avery quick set blind on here with a windscreen on the inside to keep the breeze off us and trap heat from the heater later in the year when we get the heater going. Um, and then we have uh, 
grass mats over the outside. Lots of companies make these. These are uh, the original fast grass mats by Camel Outfitters. Um, they're my favorite. The, nothing bad about any others, but these hold up really well. They're really durable. Um, the palm leaves that are used to make them are, ni are nice and thin, so they're about the same thickness as cat real cattails. They just blend in, as you can kind of see, uh, with the cattails around us here. Um, with the blind lids like this, with all this grass out and grass hung over the boat, uh, we've had mallards that uh, are just about tickling our hats with their feet here this morning calling. Um, and we've had uh, divers buzz right over our heads and we're getting the birds in nice and close. You can see our landing hole out here. Um, we're getting the birds right in there because of this blind. So just keep that in mind, uh, whether it's a fixed blind on the shore or a boat blind like this. The boat blind makes us nice and mobile. Uh, pop this thing up and uh, keep just stay still in here then. Keep face down so it's not showing and you can get ducks in nice and close like we're at uh, 21 here. We're three short of our limit this morning. We've seen 11 species of ducks this morning. We've harvested six species and everything has been nice close in shots largely due to a good decoy spread, the right wind. Uh, I think the lucky ducks are helping and then this blind uh, heightens and governance up. So just keep that in mind when you do your hunting. Uh, always try to make sure you are well camouflaged. Hey there, uh, we're done. Uh, shooting time is a little after 7 this morning. We were done by 10.30. Uh, we definitely have the uh, calendar migrators coming in out of the Dakotas. But it's, uh, not that, it's not cold, um, but the right wind. A west, uh, good west wind yesterday and then kind of light west and calm uh, overnight into this morning. And all kinds of new ducks show up. The wind's coming up stronger now out of the southwest, but the birds got here overnight and yesterday afternoon. Um, we saw 11 species of ducks today. We harvested six species. We were, uh, took us about three hours and we were uh, only taking really good shots. It moved right in close. Uh, we got eight green wing teal, including a beautiful trophy drake there. Uh, we got four blue wing teal. We got a shoveler. We got uh, a gadwall, two pintails, three mallards, and five beautiful drake bluebills too. Uh, we saw widgeon, actually had widgeon swimming outside the decoys today. Uh, we saw wood ducks, uh, we saw ringnecks, we had a bufflehead swimming in the decoys that we passed on. Um, at one point we had mallards in the water outside our decoys, a mallard in the water in our decoys, green wing teal in our decoys, and widgeon and pintails and gadwalls and more mallards circling overhead. Uh, another point, uh, I haven't done this very often, but we were diver purring with a flock of 25 bluebills and we were uh, whistling to a flock of about 10 pintails uh, all at the same time too. So it was uh, pandemonium from about 7 to 8 and then it was a little quiet from 8 to 9 mainly because we were going out picking up ducks and then from about 9 to 10 uh, pandemonium and then we took the last uh, the last duck to round out a four-man 24 bird limit at about 10.30. Uh, so um, remember it doesn't have to be cold. It's going to be 71 degrees today uh, in late October, weird fall. But just remember when you get a good west blow or a northwest blow to be out late that day that that happens or the next morning, a uh, good chance to get out and really get some good multi-species hunting like this. Great day. Hey, we're going to load up the boat here, um, go have something to eat, uh, clean some ducks, uh, probably sit around a fire tonight and tell some stories. Um, hopefully you got some good tips uh, on how to play the, these calendar migrators when they're coming through in mid, mid to late October. Uh, use the wind to your advantage um, and use a good different mix of decoys to kind of look like all the different species coming through. Uh, saw some good hunting action in there too. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time and good luck and I will see you on there somewhere.